Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. Ever since I started doing videos that were about the hit registration, the delay in the game and other things related to what is associated with the layman's term netcode, I frequently get the question what the network smoothing option does and what is the best value for specific connections. So when we look into the options of Battlefield, then the description of the feature says Visual smoothing of network data such as players and objects. Lowering this will reduce latency but could increase visual errors. So that should tell us what the purpose of this feature is, but let's have a look what it actually does in the game. I've just set the network smoothing to zero and now let's have a look what the tank turret rotation looks like. So in a few months YouTube will be able to support 60 frames per second video. Until then it will still do a down conversion from 60 frames to 30 frames. So I hope that you can still see on YouTube that this tank turret rotation is not smooth. So what if I now increase the network smoothing factor from 0 to 50%? According to the description, this should do visual smoothing. And indeed, the rotation looks much smoother now, but still not perfectly smooth. So let's crank this up to 100%. And now it's perfectly smooth. But just like the description says, you also increase the latency or delay of the game now. So this example is how I explained the feature in the past already, when I was asked how it works and what value to choose. I just didn't get around to actually do a video about it. So if you see players or vehicles not move around very smoothly, then you can use the network smoothing option to fix that at the cost of adding an additional delay because the game is then smoothing the data it receives. Still, I did want to get a developer to clearly answer what the network smoothing is and what it does. So I headed over to the CTE forums and asked that question there. And David, who is the producer for the CTE and Premium, was so kind to answer it. And this is what he wrote. So basically the network smoothing factor option is setting how much of the incoming network data for positioning, rotations, etc. that it should be smoothing. In essence, if you have a connection that gets lag spikes, use a network smoothing factor that makes the game look smooth for the best results. If you have a super good stable connection, you can consider using a setting of zero. I personally like to run with zero as I'm normally on a really good fiber connection at work. This however will still make other players stutter when they get a bad connection. I'd like to thank David again for answering this question in the CTE forums, as well as the other developers who are active there, because it is really great to see how you are interacting with us, that you hear what we are saying, that you listen to our concerns, and that you incorporate our uh, feedback into the new patches. So I think that with this official explanation we can now close the case network smoothing and also end this video. If you want to reach me you can do so on Twitter and by email, the links are in the description. Please consider to hit the subscribe button if you like my content and I will hopefully see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.